Hey there everybody, since I started my channel I've been looking for this game called Splatterhouse The remake for the PS3 This game came out in 2010 and I think it's also out for the Xbox I believe I loved this game as a kid and still have one of my old retro 16-bit Sega games Splatterhouse 3 I think I also had Splatterhouse 2 long ago as well But got lost through time was able to get the game again when I mod my PS Classic. Anyway, let's get to the PS3 game. Dang, what an impressive image. Makes me really want to play the game. So far with first impressions, job well done. This guy looks like a demonic version of Phil Anselmo, my favorite vocalist of all time. As for the intro, I'm not going to be putting it in as... It is a little bit blasphemous and I really do not endorse stuff like that. So I'm going to skip it. But as for the title screen, it speaks for itself. Really have sold this product without even playing it. So let's start playing the game. The game starts off like the old retro games where Rick and Jennifer become stranded and go to this big mansion in the distance for help. When they're into the mansion, they get attacked. Rick gets mortally injured and Jennifer gets kidnapped. Rick, injured, about to succumb to his injuries, is spoken to by a cursed object in the haunted mansion, a mask with supernatural powers. Once the mask is put on, he is healed and gives given superpowers where you and the mask venture together in trying to save Jennifer from this crazy scientist in a house that is alive, both trying mm. to stop you and the mask mm. in its tracks. The game is extremely brutal and full of gore, perfect for many horror game fans, with blood and body splatting against the scene constantly. Gameplay is excellent and easy to get into with the moves. With a mixture of 3D and 2D platforms you must hack your way through. Reminds me a lot of God of War in movement, in combos, fatalities and even the way you use your power. While you progress on you are able to earn blood points in which you can upgrade your moves to cause more destruction to your foes. Oh yes, plenty of different diabolical types of fatalities to perform on enemies, a total gore fest for even during gameplay. As for secrets and cheat codes, nothing for the PS3 game itself. The further you get in the game, you unlock all the retro versions of the games and those have cheat codes which were kind of popular back then. Even during studying this game, I found out that the first Splathouse that came out by Namako was an arcade game. I didn't even know that. I'm a metalhead and, and ah, yes. And music, the music is so fitting, especially in survival mode. And I find this ah, game so fulfilling and doing the old retro game total justice as a remake. There's even an 8-bit Famicom version of the game I have somewhere around. This is how I feel and I don't know about you guys because I know some revamps of a game can turn out to be a flop but this is not one of them. So I'm seriously content about it. Just wonder why there wasn't another one made in all this time. And I find this game so absolutely insane. Totally exhilarating. One of the best I've ever played in my life so far. So if you ever come across it or you've never played it and get the chance to get it and play it. I give it a 20 out of 10. That's how much I like it. And as for me that collects action figures. I hope there's a Rick Taylor figure somewhere out there in this country. I hope. The things I like most about the game is the blood drain. Life is getting low. You can drain the life from your enemies enemies or if you have enough blood points yeah. you can turn into the i don't even know what to call it the mask monster and just annihilate everything for a short period of time the next thing i want to speak about are the things i don't like i don't really like it when the mask yeah. swears at me the whole time yeah. in the game actually like makes yeah. me agitated yeah. <laughs> it is an interesting concept that has been used throughout all superheroes and stories such as venom the comedy mask Etrigan slash Jason Blood, Rogue Trooper, and the list goes on and on and on with that double-headed mind pattern. Another thing I don't like about the game are the characters that can chop off your arm. Once your arm is chopped off, it takes a little bit of time to regenerate, and in that time you are vulnerable, and that's, this is the only thing I really don't like about the game. But other than that, excellent. Have you 
And if you like and comment, I'll see you next time. Till next time. Till the bye and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.